se da da pe mic. Hi. Uh, my name is Madison Hamora and I'm here to say the truth about what I do and what other people do to them. To others. What you do isn't cool. <clears throat> it hurts people. It makes them feel bad and that's not cool. I do it too, but it's because I have a family like that. And when I look in the mirror every day and I think people do that to me and I do that to other people, I don't think it's cool. You think it's funny to hurt someone. You think it's funny, you know, when you push someone down. You think that's funny. It's not. You're hurting more people. Like I say, the person that you just pushed down in the hall is abuse enough at home. The person you just called ugly is commu committing suicide right now. And the person that you say is lazy and worthless has to work like two jobs to fend for their family. Do you think that's enough? I'm going to speak the truth. No, I know you don't believe in that, but you're going to have to. At least for now. You probably won't care. But the truth is, I do it too. But not as bad as others. I'm careful. I'm still a virgin. I'm single. And I don't care. I like my body. I like myself. I respect. I try to respect other people. Like, people over 600 pounds. Do they need to be made fun of? Yeah, I do it too. But then I feel bad after. And it's not funny what you do. Never is. Why would you do that to someone? Tell me. Why? It's not funny to hurt other people. When it's you, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Honestly, what do you see? You see another human being. You see you. You hope people don't pick on you. You hope you don't get brought into the wrong crowd. You pray for that. But when it happens, it's because you did it. You did it yourself. You don't know how to make people happy. You try. You try to make the wrong people happy. Who is that helping? Not you. It's going to get you in even more trouble than you can imagine. I'm glad that's not me. I'm actually really glad that's not me. Because you don't know what any kids go through in their, life, in their life. You think, oh, I know them just as well as they know themselves. No, you don't. They're all different. We're all different. Our looks and everything. Just because you look at someone. You look at someone and you think you know them. You don't. You never do. Just look in the mirror. Just think. That could have been me. That was me. The people that you pick on now. That was you. <laughs> that was you at school. And you were brought in by the cool crowd because someone said all this stuff about you that wasn't true. Like, good stuff, bad stuff. I'm a nerd at school. Brought in by some cult, so called cool kids. There's no such thing as popularity. Yeah, you think you're so cool that you pick on other kids. That's not what popularity is about. Popularity is about people knowing you for who you are, how nice you are, not the way you pick on people. I don't like to pick on people. I, I don't, honestly. But if you think about it, you look back and you think, that was me. Was that me? 
Was that me? It was. Just a few years ago, nobody knew you. They may have known you, but they didn't know who you really were. They were picking on you. Just like, that was me. I'm hurting people who are just like me. Who are quiet, insecure, and didn't know what to do when big kids picked on them. Me going into ninth grade, I'm, I'm going to know how that feels to be a freshman. Getting picked on the whole year. But when I get into 10th grade, I'm going to show those 9th graders that there is good people out there. There's not always a bad person, but there's not always a good person. I just want to show, when I get into 10th grade, that there is good people. I want to show the 9th graders that. And I hope, I just hope, you can understand too. I'm done. Just take my advice. Don't pick on other people because they're different. Because they could have been just like you.